let's look at question number 11 part a of the pure mathematics paper right so this is the quadratic question so what what is given to us fx is x squared minus 2kx minus k squared minus 1 x belongs to r k belongs to r show that equation fx equals 0 has two non-zero roots that are real and distinct right so fx is x squared minus 2kx minus k squared minus 1 right we have to show that fx equals 0 has two non-zero roots that are real and distinct right so first we'll just show this is real and distinct that's how do you show that two roots are real and distinct b squared minus 4ac has to be positive you have to show that the discriminant has to be positive so delta is equal to what uh, b is minus 2k so square of that minus 4 a c is what minus k squared minus 1 so then delta equals what 4k squared minus minus I will, I will take a minus out from here so plus 4k squared plus 1 so this turns into what 8k squared plus 4 which is obviously positive no why this term 8k squared has to be what greater than no equal to 0 so then the total has to be positive because of the plus 4 so discriminant is positive therefore what's the conclusion therefore this has two real and distinct roots right that part is done so now we have to show those two roots are non-zero both of them are non-zero right for that we can use what product of the roots if if we can show the product of the roots is non-zero then the roots have to be non-zero if one of the roots is zero product of the roots will be zero so let me take the roots as alpha beta for this one uh, this quadratic then what is alpha times beta for this quadratic that is going to be what c over a so a is one c is this minus k squared minus one so take the minus sign out you have what k squared plus one inside right so this is what never zero right can't make it zero no k squared is always positive i'm sorry positive or zero so this term can never be zero cannot be equal to zero so alpha beta is non-zero that means what two roots are non-zero otherwise the product will be zero no? if one of the roots is zero product will be zero so then both conditions we showed by showing the discriminant is positive we show that the roots are real and distinct by taking the product of roots we have shown that product of roots is what non-zero that means two roots are non-zero right so that part is done now let's see next part let alpha beta be the roots of fx equals 0 so this let r be 1 over 2 alpha and s be 1 over 2 beta show the show that the quadratic equation with r and s as its roots is this right so so let me write down alpha plus beta is what minus b over a so minus 2k minus 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 2k is 2k 2k over 1 so 2k alpha plus beta is 2k 
alpha beta is what minus k squared minus 1 no take the minus out so k minus k squared plus 1 right r is what 1 over 2 alpha sc is what 1 over 2 beta so we want to find the equation with roots r plus r and s so that equation has what form x squared minus sum of the roots times the product of the root so i have to find what i have to find r plus s and r times s so let me first find r plus s r plus s is what 1 over 2 alpha plus 1 over 2 beta so take the common denominator which is 2 alpha beta so we will get alpha plus beta in the numerator so then alpha plus beta is 2k minus 2 into k squared plus 1 so then r plus s is what k over minus so let me put the minus sign up minus k over k squared plus 1 then r times s 1 times 2 alpha into 1 times 2 beta 1 1 over 4 alpha beta which gives you 1 over minus 4 k squared plus 1 right so then we can write the quadratic with these roots substitute r plus s to this and r times s here and let's get the quadratic so x squared minus what to what is r plus s this one minus k over k squared plus 1 x then this one r times s is minus 1 over 4 k squared plus 1 equal to 0 so now just convert it into the correct form get rid of the denominator so multiply by 4 times k squared plus 1 so you get 4 k squared plus 1 x squared here plus 4k x minus 1 equals 0 right that is the quadratic we wanted to create so that is done next what you need and show that modulus of r minus s is this given expression so now we have to find r minus s modulus of r minus s modulus of r minus s so then 1 over 2 alpha minus 1 over 2 beta so that is what beta minus alpha over 2 alpha beta modulus then let me find beta minus alpha so beta minus alpha squared is what we can write it in terms of alpha plus beta this one squared minus 4 alpha beta that is the same as beta minus alpha whole thing squared so alpha plus beta we know no, which is 2k so 4k squared minus 4 alpha beta also we know which is minus so k squared plus 1 so you can take the 4 out so you have 2k squared plus 1 inside beta minus alpha squared so then beta minus alpha is what 2 times square root of 2k squared plus 1 right you can get plus or minus but no this minus will vanish no so i will just consider the plus one right so then we have beta minus alpha now i will substitute this beta minus alpha here and alpha beta also we know no? so let's see what we get modulus r minus s is equal to 2 into 2k squared plus 1 2 alpha beta alpha beta is what 
minus k square plus 1. So there's a minus sign here, k square plus 1. 2 and 2 cancel. Then take the absolute value. You get this 2 squares plus 1 over k square plus 1. So that is modulus of r minus s. Right. Then deduce the horizontal distance between the two points of intersection of the graphs of these two graphs, these two cubics is square root 3 over 2. Deduce the horizontal distance between the two points of intersection. Right. So let's first set up the equation to find the points of intersection you have to equal the two cubics no x cube plus 9x squared plus 3x plus 1 equal to the other cubic function which is x cube plus x squared minus 6 plus 2 x cube plus x squared minus 6 plus 2 Right, so we want the distance between the x values, the horizontal distance. No? So that means the x values now that the horizontal distance between the two points of intersection of the graphs. Right, so you can cancel x cube, x cube. Then move everything to one side, you get what? 8x squared plus 4x minus 1 equal to 0. Right. We have to use our earlier answer to get this. No. Look, R and S are what? R and S are the roots of this equation. Roots of this equation. Okay. So those are the x values of this equation, right? Those are the x values. Horizontal distance between two intersection points is what? So if these are the two intersection points, wait. So what they mean is, let's say we have two curves that intersect like this then these are x1 and x2 those are given by the roots then r minus s is the horizontal distance we want that distance the difference between x1 and x2 is the horizontal distance between the two intersection points right so then <laughs> So let's see how to use this result we have for modulus of r minus s. So let's compare the quadratic we have with this quadratic. 4k squared plus 1 x squared plus 4k x minus 1 equals 0. Right. I can get to this equation by putting k equals what? k equals 1. Right? I can get same equation of 8x squared plus 4x minus 1. So then the roots of this equation are the difference between the two roots are what? r minus s. When k equals 1, that is the horizontal distance. So we had the expression, what is r minus this one? 2k squared plus 1 over k squared plus 1. So now what? Sub k equals 1. You will get what? Root 3 over 2. So that is the horizontal distance between the two intersection points of those two cubics. So to get that first create the intersection point equation this is how you get the intersection points no? by equaling the cubic functions then create that quadratic 
and compare it with the quadratic we found because the result we got was for this type of quadratic so then we can use it figure out the correct k value and substitute then you get the answer right okay little bit different from the previous years right so let's see what is part b next